dun, 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 dun. You know, I could probably play that and not get hit up for a copyright on YouTube. I just thought about that. Not going to do it, but I probably could get away with it. Anyway, today on Infinite Realms, we're going to review SummerSlam British Bulldog. And right off the bat, I'm just going to say... I have some issues with the packaging. He was very hard to get out and could have, you know, this could have ended disastrously if you tried to, tried to force this. The cape is laced through the plastic. Uh, what I ended up having to do was take off his head and pull it off of his hands. Pull the cape off of his hands, I mean, uh, because it's wrapped around his neck, too. And then there's some tape on the back of the, uh, cape and I had already knew I knew this it was there I saw this in a review and some um, and the reviewer actually pulled some of the red fabric off of the back I did not don't ask me how in the world I got that cape to sit like that on the ring I can tell you this much as soon as I shut the camera off and reach for it it fell so <laughs> it was on there by a wing and a prayer believe me anyway let's get to uh, Davy Boy Smith the British Bulldog. Now, of course, I knew Davy Boy back in the days when he and the Dynamite Kid were the British Bulldogs. And dogs, plural. And uh, I was really surprised when uh, Davy Boy came back as the British Bulldog. It caught me off guard. Um, I did not realize there was actually some heat there about, but between Dynamite and Davy Boy about that. Uh, Davy Boy felt very, or Dynamite felt very betrayed by David Boy um, that I did not know until a few weeks ago and uh, I was very surprised by that I generally always really enjoyed the British Bulldog and uh, he's one of those guys that a lot of people question why he never actually made it to the world title and I always thought it was timing I mean if you watch the timing of when he moved back and forth to WCW and WWF and later E C D E F G you know I don't know what they're on now. Okay, I stole that from uh I believe that was Kevin Nash who said that, but anyway. Um uh whatever um <laughs> oh sorry I made myself laugh too hard. Um but you know if you ever notice his timings of his moves it was always like I felt like he was getting a little bit of a push or about to get a push. And it's not to say his moving away from either one wasn't legitimate. Uh, with WCW, the roster was just too packed. I mean, there were too many big names. And, you know, from what I've read and, and heard, uh, you know, just from uh, sources like Wrestling Bios, which I find very informative, um, you know, his association with... Uh, Jim Neidhart didn't help him much, and things I didn't know about, you know, I mean, really. Um, but, you know, David Boy jumped around a lot, and that kind of hurt his chances at a world title run. So, he's one of those guys that should have had a world title run in one of the two, if not both. And, uh, you know, David Boy is, um, you know, he's kind of your, he does your strong guy stuff. And yes, he was very good. He was very entertaining. I really liked him. Um, and of course, the best match would be, you know, him and Bret Hart at the SummerSlam, which is this is what this is supposed to represent, which is, wow, that was a complicated sentence. Sorry about that. And uh, so, and it's a good likeness. Um, you know, it's a real good paint job. I even got the apparently Brutus the Barber Beefcake inspired side piece there. I don't know what was going on with that. But, uh, you know, very colorful tights. Very colorful boots. The gaunt, you know, everything about this figure matches up perfectly. It is one of my favorite looks for the British Bulldog. I thought really awesome, really great. And I'm really glad they captured it in such a good way. Even the gauntlets, you know, the everything is perfect um you know not perfect but really good a good likeness of david boy smith you often forget how round his face was uh but yeah you know you go look back and it's like oh yeah you know his face was kind of round wasn't it it's, uh, that's kind of weird uh but yeah that is true and 
a really good figure. I mean, I'd I'm gonna not, not ignore the packaging issue because I really look at the figure anyway. So I'm gonna look at the figure. I mean, I'm gonna score this one a five star. It's a really good figure, really representative of a very important time in this wrestler's career, and I, I think it. I think it just hits every nail you need to hit with an action figure. Um, there is a SummerSlam background. Um, I may use that. I may not. I'm, I'm debating what I may use that for. It looks kind of, I mean, I can see people using it. It looks cool. It's not bad. I didn't really take a picture of it. I've just got it sitting to the side here, deciding what I'll do with it. Anyway, uh, just for some comparison. Uh, here he is with Ric Flair and Arn Anderson. And of course, as I mentioned with my Lex Luger review, uh, they were in a tag team together very briefly called the Allied Powers when Lex was doing the American Patriot thing. And, uh, you know, I think if they had run with that a little more, Luger wouldn't have went over to WCW and we might not have had the shocking Nitro we had. But, eh, you know, they did. It, it is what it is. It is what happened. And, um, so, you know, there's those two together. And just for fun, I thought I'd just put together my recently acquired Captain Britain, along with the British Bulldogs. Bulldog. Not Bulldogs. Got used to, I always got used to saying the British Bulldogs, and I would accidentally slip like that a lot with the British Bulldogs, so you'll have to pardon me. And, uh, you know, I just got those two together just because, you know, Britain. <laughs> Britain. Listen to my country accent, right? So, um, that's my review of the British Bulldog, David Boy Smith. Really like this figure. Really glad I got it. Definitely going to be my definitive uh, British Bulldog from this point forward. So, um, that's all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching.